Jerry Franklin Hall, MAC to the Max Back, man. We're here at the S1 oh, shop at Casa Basta, their official sponsor, for February 23rd at the Bank United Center Saturday, where this event is going to go on and they're guaranteed and not got. To my left, the gentleman, Vice President of S1 Challenge, Mr. Ricardo Wilson. Ricardo, good seeing you, brother. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you as well. Awesome. Let's talk about S1 Challenge. This is a brand new sport for those who are out there who don't really understand the sport, who really don't understand what's going on. Give us a little insight about what S1 Challenge really is. S1 Challenge is a, a stand-up striking part that's uh, kind of bringing a new twist to combat sports in the United States. Um, if, if you were going to compare it to something, I mean, it, it would be most comparable to what uh, we call, or we have come to know as Muay Thai, Thai boxing. Um, it's, it's huge in, in, in the Far East, and now this is kind of our, our rendition of, of what it is. It is all action, all kicks, all punches. Knees, elbows are allowed, sweeps are allowed, um, clinches are allowed, but you have to be working. It's, it's a great opportunity for people that want to see something that's non-stop action. There's no ground allowed. Okay, so I guess where the confusion comes in is part of the fighters who are involved. Because the fighters who are involved come from an MMA background. They're actually MMA fighters who are fighting on this card. Is that right? Uh, that is correct. We do have some MMA fighters on this card that do have MMA backgrounds and do have MMA pro records. That is correct. Um, the difference is that, again, this goes onto their pro record as a martial arts pro professional. So we're, we're not trying to be, nor are we calling ourselves MMA. We are a striking art. We are something that's new, something that's exciting. And we're not stop action. There is no hugging. There is no ground. There is non-stop action. Okay, let's talk about that. And it looks like the rules are made for basically Muay Thai, right? So we have, a, we have an organization here, S1 Challenge, who is putting a fight. We probably didn't say anything about it. It's really not an MMA fight. But they're using MMA fighters, but you also have Muay Thai fighters as well. And you have other top strikers as well. Correct. We have kickboxing, we have Muay Thai, we have Western boxers who are trying to break into doing uh, or becoming more versatile than their part because we know, we know boxers have great hands. And then uh, right now, there, there's so many different sports and so much interest in, in martial arts in general, no matter what you want to call it. Martial arts is martial arts, it's all an art. And, and that's what we're focusing on. We're focusing on the art. We're focusing on the fighter. We're focusing on the fact that this thing is non-stop action and we're going to see some knockouts. Awesome, awesome. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Probably coming through on Saturday. We're definitely looking forward to it. You know, I think, again, the, the confusion part of it, coming from the MMA community myself, uh, we're really going to have MMA fighters stepping into the arena who they can't use their ground skills. So probably the question would be asked, you know, why would someone do that? Why would someone as an MMA fighter go into this type of event only doing half of what they know, you know, and challenging themselves for the stand up and not just the ground. Well, uh, not to, to knock anyone. I mean, I love MMA. I'm a fan of MMA. I'm a fan of boxing. I'm a fan of kickboxing and all martial arts in general. Um, but the, the difference that comes in here is that many, many disciplines, even MMA fighters, all have to learn stand up. And let's face it, in MMA, what are your most exciting fights? For most people, people are always going for a knockout. You don't get a knockout when you're doing jiu-jitsu. You don't get a knockout wrestling. You get your knockout from standing up, throwing those shots, kicks, knees, elbows, punches. It, it, it's all about the strength. You know, I totally agree with you. I think you know, when you see the, the highlights from other MMA shows, and again, it's not an MMA show, but when you look at the highlights for it, you'll see knockouts. You know, you probably will see on a highlight reel when they're doing their commercials, someone really choking their arms. It's really looking for a takedown or a knockout, that type of thing. Let's go real quick to the Florida Boxing Commission. You know, there's a lot of questions out there. Is this the Florida Boxing Commission actually sanctioned this fight? Um, who is sanctioning this fight under what rules? Um, we all know it's not an MMA fight, so therefore, um, but the Florida Boxing Commission is still sanctioned. So tell me a little bit about, is this a pro fight? Is it an average fight? What are the fighting the rules on this by the Florida Boxing Commission? Uh, being there the this is a pro event. This does go on the pro record for all players who are involved and want to be involved. This is a pro event. It will show up. It's, it's very similar to guys who have done K1 and, and, and uh, Strike Force and UFC. It all goes on their pro record. Now, is it an MMA fight? 
No, it is not. But it goes under the sanctioning rules of Muay Thai and Sanda. Awesome. I see that close there. Will these be the official gloves? Absolutely. Let me, let me take a minute to talk about this and talk about ringside first. This is ringside's first time ever showcasing their new IMF injected mobile phone technology where many, many gloves use two or three layers of foam to protect the fighter's hand. This is one layer of foam that's been molded to an actual fist and then inserted into an all leather casing. Let me, let me put this on for a second so you guys can kind of see some other great features about this glove. One is the uh, quick tie lace system. You can actually just use one hand and pull both laces. That way, it tightens right away. This thing has an already broken in feel, and uh, it's what we would consider in uh, boxing terminology as a puncher's glove. That means that when you hit somebody, they're going to know they've been hit. It's not like uh, winning, which is a wonderful, wonderful brand, but it's, it's considered a pillow. This is definitely a, a, a fighter, a puncher's glove. This is something that you're going to know you've been hit with. Awesome. So, you know, February 21st, Saturday, you know, you're going up against some big numbers or some pay per view there as well. I see on the fighters' card you also have females. Is that something that was uh, calculated in the sense that now female MMA is going big? If only there's a better card somewhere on pay per view that has a whole bunch of females, if you know what I mean. Was that a strategic move on your part? Listen, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up. Um, to me, I think that uh, women fighters are just as exciting, if not more exciting than men, because they will stand there toe to toe and they will throw their shots and they do not back down. So uh, if, if if action is our ball back in our forte, then absolutely it's strategic. We want to make sure that we have an action packed card. And let me tell you, the ladies that we have fighting are not afraid to throw that. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it live, straight from his mouth, Mr. B, Big Operations, Rick Barton Wilson. I tell you what, Saturday, February 23rd at the Bank United Center. If you haven't got your tickets, get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com or log on to S1Challenge.com. You can get your tickets there as well. Five starts at 7 p.m. It's going to be an amazing event. For Ricardo and myself, we'll see you at the Fox.